guys, it is Chef Kitty Cat, and welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to revisit the Better Records mod. I happened to notice a few weeks ago, of course, in quarantine, that this video was still getting searches and views. And so we're going to take another look at it because I spent an entire afternoon getting this mod to work. So, first thing to note, that you need to install Forge. You're going to- this mod- its current version is 1.12, so make sure you go to Minecraft version, you click on 1.12, you download the installer. Then, you need to uh, open that, it's going to install it for you, and then you need to launch Minecraft and have it load. Then, you need to download Shadow Facts Forgelin. So, in the previous video that I made, there are some comments that people are saying, what's Forgelin? So apparently Forgelin is required for this mod to run. So just how you install a mod where you drag it into your mods folder, um, you're gonna drag Shadowfax Forgelin into the Minecraft folder. And then that will allow the mod to actually run. One quick note, if you have trouble opening up Forge, um, let's say you download it, you double click it, and uh, you get a black command box and it immediately closes. There is this program called Jarfix, and this fixes it for you. There's basically, um, this person has created this program and it fixes it. It there's explains what it is, uh, the solution, how it works. It's actually by a programmer, so it's not sketchy. One also other thing to note is that there is a new page for it. Um, it's hosted on Curse Forge. Um, and it does say there's a note here, so I will leave this link in the description as well as Shadowfax Forgelin, um, Forge, Jarfix, and even Java if you need it. Um, but yes, with that covered, let's talk about the discs. Alright, so we're back at Dropbox, so we're still going to need to do a Dropbox thingy to get it to work. As a note, the previous um, MP3 converter that I linked in the previous video does not exist anymore, so you're going to need to find either another website that does it, as I'm sure there are plenty, I just haven't bothered to look for it to be honest. Um, I think iTunes has MP3s, as you figure it out, um, but once you do, you're going to upload them to Dropbox. Um, I have a few here to try, I think we're going to go with Itty Bitty mp3 here and you have to make sure it's an mp3 or an ogg file because if it's not um, the process will not work so once you're here you're going to want to click share um, you need to create a link for it first create a link it's going to create the link you need to copy the link i'm going to open a new tab paste and go and here is my music gonna play it's working um, and then what you're gonna do is some lovely person Nicholas Feldman has created how to host a file with Dropbox specifically for this mod so we just went through this right now blah 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 blah, blah. and you want to scroll down to here so similar to what we did last time you need to copy this and you need to paste it in replacement of www.dropbox.com so you need to paste it in there and then click enter and the screen's gonna look a little different but your file should still your file should still play so now this is the link that we're gonna use for um, our record so let's hop right into Minecraft I'm just gonna copy that all right. Oh, I will also leave this page in the description if you want a another little tutorial on it. All right, let's hop into Minecraft. All right, so we're just about to launch Minecraft, but what you want to make sure that you do is you change your um, release that you're playing on to the Forge release. Um, so just make sure to select that, and now we're going to launch. So it's going to take a bit longer to load because it's loading all these things. Here we go, ba ba ba. All 
All right, now we are in Minecraft, and at the bottom it'll say your version. We're running 1.12.2, powered by Forge, and how many mods you have active. So you can check your mods by clicking on this mods button. Um, so the reason I have six is because when you install Forge, it installs this coder pack, as well as a Forge mod loader. These two kind of come with it, so um, it says it's needed for Forge. So there's two there, plus we got Forge itself, we got Forgelin, um, and we got the Better Records mod. So those are our six, I guess, including Minecraft. All right, let's pop into our world and check out this mod. All right, so here we are. We are in our lovely Minecraft world, ready to get down on the dance floor. Let's pop open our record player and all the recipes will be on the form. You can click them, check them out, um, but I will not be going over how to craft. Um, we're getting right to the meat of it, which is how to actually etch your records. Oh, I hear a skeleton. Are you joining our party? Oh, 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 that's not good. All right, enjoy. Um, so, first of all, make sure you have a blank record. I would also recommend doing it in this order. Put the record in, put the name in, and then put the URL because it gives you little instructions here and sometimes if you do it backwards, it doesn't work. So, record first, name. Um, what was the one? Itty Bitty 8-Bit, I believe. And we're going to paste our link from before and it'll validate it and you will be nervous. And it says ready to etch, perfect. Now all we do is click the etch button and there we are, there it is. So if you get any issues like IO exception, um, can't read or anything else of that sort, your link is incorrect. Um, basically means that this mod cannot read it. So go back and check your link and make sure that it is correct and that you copy and pasted the right thing. Because if you do, it does indeed work. So let's test out. Um, also another thing to note is you have to shift click, shift right click, oh my gosh, shift right click to open the record player and you have to shift right click to connect any wires to the record player, FYI. All right, so let's put our music in. It's gonna download it. Oh my goodness, here we go. Party. All right, so that's that. As you can see, I've connected a few lights to it. Makes it very sparkly. Um, and that is how you get your record to play with the Better Records mod. It's not too bad once you kind of get to it, but it is a little finicky, so you just gotta make sure that the steps you're doing. You guys make so much noise back here. Can you shush, please? Thank you. I'm in the middle of recording, thanks. Um, so yes, yeah, so you just got to make sure that you're being precise with your link, your file's correct, and nothing is wrong. Another thing to know, and I guess we can go over quickly, is the combination of records. So you just take two that you have. Can I not craft and... I don't know if I can craft and create. Craft and creative. I never play on creative mode. Um, Alright, let's see for fun. And there we go. We got a multi-record. So now... Once one is done, it will go immediately to the next song. There is also a way to get a single song to play on repeat. Again, the information is all on the mod page. It is nothing complicated. The most complicated part of this mod is getting the record to work, which we just covered. So with that, whoopsies, wrong button. Where's, I don't even remember what button it is. Oh my, clearly I'm rusty. Ah, five, that's what it is. With that covered, I hope you guys are able to get better records mod to work if you have any questions i'll try and figure it figure it out i did play with this installation and getting it to work for about three hours so i man so much noise is going on back there i just can't seem to record a video excuse me oh he wants to join us for a dance party oh you're in my spotlight buddy all right well said leave a comment leave a like i'll try and make more videos because oh my god this guy okay thank you <laughs> Oh man, I'm a little rusty, but hope that answers your better records mods questions and let me know if it worked for you. Have a great, oh shoot, have a great day. Bye. Oh wait, no. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.